You all good there? You prepared? I think so. Welcome back. Hey everybody, this is SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. All right, we've talked about Lake Vostok before here on SourceFed. It's about 800 miles away from the South Pole and is buried beneath more than two miles of Antarctic ice. Scientists believe it's been cut off from everyday earthly air for about 20 million years. In fact, about 35 million years ago, scientists suggest that the 160 mile long and 30 mile wide lake was surrounded by forests. It was probably tranquil as all get out. Probably a place where a man gets his self-reflection on. A place where a man gets away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life so he may strip away the confines of his binding clothes so his naked majesty may reconnect with animals and trees and stuff. Yep, so last year, after many months of drilling through ice, Russian scientists finally reached Vostok and began extracting samples, and the world was kind of on the edge of its seat awaiting results. If life did in fact exist in the extreme subsurface ice hell, then there could be hope that life could exist in similar environments like Europa. Ooh, mm. space speculation. And then the results came in, and it was announced that they found a bacteria that was new to science. And then it was reported that that wasn't the case, and the samples were contaminated by the drilling process. But now, new samples bring new results. Samples taken from ice just above the surface of the lake reveal more than 3,500 different DNA sequences, including close matches for adorable little things like fungi, arthropods, water fleas, springtails, and a friggin' mollusk. 95% oh. of the sequences stem from bacteria, but what is super intriguing is that some of the bacteria is found in fish guts, pointing to the possibility of fish populating the lake. A bunch of the DNA also points to life that tends to exist around hydrothermal vents in the ocean, suggesting that those vents may be present in the lake as well. Fun stuff! <laughs> the researchers wrote, while the current conditions are different than earlier in history, the lake seems to have maintained a surprisingly diverse community of organisms. These organisms may have slowly adapted to the changing conditions of Lake Vostok during the past 15 to 35 million years as the lake converted from a terrestrial system to a subglacial system. Well, duh. A couple final points. The researchers point out that there are some unidentified sequences, but that doesn't necessarily point the compass needle in the direction of exotic life. And they go on to say, hey, we don't know, maybe this lake was cut off for the last 15 million years, but life could have made it in at any time anyways, and we don't know everything, so uh, get off of our science facts. <laughs> your job. Okay, I don't know. I mean, the cool part here is that this is an example of life happens. It finds a way, even in subglacial bodies of water buried two miles deep in ice. Science! Science. So what do you guys wish they found in Lake Vostok? Give us a very detailed description down in the comments down below. And hey, while you're down there, please like this video and you can subscribe to this channel to be pelted with news throughout the day. You can also put this invitation to see our five daily stories. My name is Elliot Morgan. Mine is Joe Beretta. I'll see you in just a couple minutes. Bye-bye! Bye! Bye-bye!